guys on YouTube today. How are you guys today? Right now, I went to plow the driveway. It's absolutely cold outside. It's freezing out there. We got some snow on the freaking ground today for you guys today, but I actually plowed it. It looks pretty good. Uh, one problem I had is I bought the chain tensionals to keep the chain on my tiles, but apparently the chain tensional itself was way too loose and it has fell right off the tractor and mangled up one of my chain spring tensionals, but that's okay. That's easy fix to fix, you know what I mean, guys? And I also got rid of the tractor into a snow plow uh, to plow the driveway right away. Uh, it's a very nice day outside, a little cold, a winter ice, snow on the ground, good day. And by the way, I might do a cold start on the Cub uh tractor, the uh, 550 uh, tractor, stuff like that. That's a pretty beast of a tractor, I got news for you. I got news for you, just plow through this light goddamn snow on the ground, but... Let's go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what I mean, guys. Alright. Hey, guys. Here is my Cub Cadet tractor here, guys. This is the Cub Cadet tractor we use for every year for cutting the grass and also plowing the up and snow on the ground. God, it's a goddamn beast. And by the way, by the way you see the... Uh, Chain tensional is not on the chain, it is actually on the seat. It's mangled up, it's twisted, it's like, what the heck? But, you see, it's a pretty good uh, unit, good, good, come good up. I like it a lot. You see, that was my freaking snow plow. It's a 46 uh, inch snow plow. Looks really good for this come good up. And on the other side, it's the same thing, you know, there's the handle. There's the chain, and you can see there's the chain tensional. It helps to keep the freaking chain on my freaking tile. They're from flopping off, but actually I gotta go buy an on set to actually have 10 uh, springs on each side for it doesn't uh, fall off here. And I will show you what happened here on the chain tensional system. You can see this is that mangled, mangled one. Let's see. I can actually hold it up right here. You can see it actually has five uh, springs on the bottom. You can see there's the on. It's completely mangled. It's mangled like heck. This is actually is the one. It's on this side of my tile. Uh, well, those are only like $20 a piece. That's for the two set of these uh, little guys. Uh, not bad. Uh, that is the cheap uh, chain tensional. All you all is uh, a spring and these type of chain uh, hook and thing. It's pretty awesome. But hey, that's what happens when you not when you don't tighten your chain down or your tensional on your chain heel. Let's go and just put it back on the seat that so you guys can see the full uh, chain itself. Let's see. This is just the chain. With the tensional uh, things on them, it happens. You know what? I'm not not really worried about it. But this is now the spring. It is coiled like a. It's coiled like oh, it's been like it's been run over or something. But that was my mistake. Apparently, I didn't actually have it tightened up or anything. But hey, you know they're just cheap little, cheap little things. You know what the hell with it. You know, you see this is actually one of the hooks. It hooks on them. And you see it's just five chains. The five springs and only one chain. And by the way, this cup is made in uh, USA. Awesome! Very good. I love my uh, tractor. It's a 2005 tractor. It's pretty old, but it's okay for its age. You can see how this chain uh, tensional is. You can see you have these hooks on these springs. And you put them around the, your uh, tire chains here. But what I'm going to probably do is probably cut some of these slacks off here, these links off here. And I'm going to just to buy, uh, I'm going to go buy a new set of these uh, chain duies again, chain tensionals. And I actually have my this one zip tied on it. And this is just what it does. It just helps to keep the uh, 
chain, the chain itself from coming off my tile. And that's a pretty okay, I guess. It's not that bad. Once you get used to having those on there, you can see I actually did a little bit of maintenance to it and stuff. And there's the 40 inch, uh, 46 inch plow. It's a pretty nice plow system. And let's go ahead and start her up here and show you. It is absolutely freezing because my hands are right now cold. Kind of show you the rock around of my beautiful tractor here, but I'm going to have to put these somewhere for right now before you can actually sit on the tractor here. But you know what? I'm just going to put them right on the top of my uh, tractor right now before I don't lose them. But we're just going to put them there for right now. What the heck with it? Let's go and start her up here. It's pretty, pretty cold out here. Uh, I don't know if she's going to start really good on the cold weather here, but what the heck, we're going to go ahead and start her up here for you guys and show you. She doesn't like the cold, I tell you that. Oh, awesome. Let's see, that's, that's just on idle itself. And it is. It starts up pretty good. But I actually can plow stuff with it too. squeak when it shuts off but that's okay um of course i have a key in the ignition and stuff it's pretty cute but this tractor is awesome guys i really love this tractor um it has a couple of features i kind of like about kind of don't like about it kind of thing but you know what, what the heck yeah that's just my brake and the uh cutting but I don't actually take the deck off to plow. I wish I actually can take the deck off. It does come off to actual plow the driveway. But what I would like to actually do is actually buy a secondary tractor to actually do one that's just for plowing and this one for cutting the grass. But hey, this is what I do every year, guys. I put the chains, the chain tensioners, and the plow on. It's very easy to get this plow on and off. Got news for you, this plow is absolutely heavy as hell, guys. I tell you that for sure. It's heavy, it's a monster. And there's the uh, cooler engine it has inside of it. It has a two head piston uh, system inside of it. You can see here's the springs on the uh, guy here. You can see this is the plow. You can see this is the plow here. This, is, this hooks into these. Uh, little guys uh, bolt hooks and it has a guide hole for it to 
go in and s snap into that. First, you gotta take your uh, take your uh, bumper off to actually put the plow on itself. It actually has two sets of them actually on both sides. <laughs> you can see, hey, there's some carbon on the uh, the carbon on this side. This is where the exhaust is, by the way. Uh, by the way, this uh, it does get kind of hot on this one side. I'm gonna actually have to clean that up. The muffle is not. It's it's warm. It's hot. I uh, it's pretty good, but this is a pretty good old tractor. I tell you, for its age. I don't know what tractor I want to go get, guys, but I want one that's a little bit better than this old beast. One that actually has a uh, uh, hydraulic system on it. Uh, for I can actually just easier to hook it up that way instead of lifting this beast up. Now let's show you the uh, way this uh, plow uh, kind of works on this tractor here. Because see, I got the handle right here. All you do is you put it down. That's all you do is just put it down and it just scrapes the, scrapes the driveway. But it doesn't really scrape the driveway that good. But it does pretty good. That is uh, awesome. I really like this old tractor. It's a pretty good old beast. But I will just have to uh, get a new set of chain tensionals for this cub uh little guy. And by the way, we have freaking snow on the ground, by the way, guys. It's absolutely freezing out here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. Hey, let me turn the camera to me. It's absolutely freezing out here, guys. I gotta tell you that right now, guys. It is absolutely cold. My hands are freezing, but that's okay. I do a very good job of doing what I do out here, guys. But this Cub uh, tractor works pretty good for its old age. I got news for you guys. I really love this tractor, but it's time to actually uh, sell this old tractor eventually. I don't know, but I would like to actually buy a new one, guys. But don't have the extra money to go buy a new uh, tractor right now, guys. But, well, what the heck. But let's go ahead and show you guys more of the tractor here. But, yeah, it is awesome. I love this tractor. Uh, it's pretty good. It does need... I know, guys. I know. I know. She needs some cleaning. Don't, don't yell at me in the comments below, okay? I know she absolutely needs to be cleaned. I know that for sure, guys. I mean, she's a... Pretty decent old tractor here. But I can't believe that these chain tensioners just completely fell off. Fell right off of my tiles here. They're not supposed to fall off, but they just fell right off here. When I was just plowing the driveway, and it's like, I'm looking, and it's like, where the heck did that chain tensioner do we go? I just bought these guys just a couple weeks ago, but hey, what the heck. No, this this one spring is mangled. Is it, it's mangled, guys. It's it's the way to actually put that chain, that spring back into its original form. But this is what the original form looks like. <laughs> Completely broken. Chain tensioner. It's how to put a chain tensioner on the on the cub tractor and it falls right off the tractor. Really? I don't know, guys. But. It's a very really good uh, tractor. I mean, yes, uh, during the springtime, I'm going to clean her up and stuff like that. Yeah, oh, my goodness, she is dirty. I know, guys, I know. I typically clean her uh, every year, keep her clean and stuff like that. But this is just kind of like my walk around of my cover deck, cover deck tractor we use for uh, winter season and summer season. All right, guys, uh, it's absolutely cold. I'm gonna go inside and warm up a bit. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and also leave a good comment below. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye, guys. Stay safe and also stay warm inside doors. It is absolutely cold. Bye, YouTube fans out there today. Have a Merry Christmas. Peace out. Bye, guys.